I'm now going to show you how to make a very quick bookmark. It simply uses scraps of fabric that could be orphan charm squares and a small amount of the Vlieseline H640, which is a fusible volume fleece. To make this really simple project, what you need are three five inch squares of fabric. However, these can be any size that you wish. Also, you'll require one five inch square of the Vlieseline H640, which is the fusible volume fleece. And for this particular one, if you then have a four inch square of the Vlieseline H640 and cut it in half on the diagonal. On one of the squares, you're just going to take them, fold them in half with the wrong sides together and give it a nice press. And then simply take the triangle of the Vlieseline H640 and pop it inside. You just want to leave roughly a quarter of an inch all the way around on this part. So if you need to trim your H640 down, that's absolutely fine. And just to let you know what we're doing, this is going to create this part of the bookmark. Fold the fabric over like that and just give it a press with the iron. Now with the Vlieseline H640, it's necessary to press it for about eight to 10 seconds using a damp cloth or a little bit of steam in your iron really helps activate the glue. And once you have done this, you need to leave it for around about 20 to 30 minutes. That allows the glue to activate and melt and then subsequently it sets again and it fuses to the fabric. So for the purposes of the video, what I have done is we have one already here with lots of pins in. Once you've ironed your Vlieseline H640 inside the triangle, you're then going to layer it up. So we have one of the fabrics with the right side facing me onto the reverse of the other piece of the Vlieseline H640. And at this stage, I didn't press it. I've just placed it on top. You then, on one of the corners, place the triangle, this is the folded one, with the Vlieseline H640 in, and place it on the corner. And then finally, you pop the third square of fabric with the right sides down and pop it there. It's really important to make sure that the corners are kept in place when we're sewing. So a lot of pins is, is actually not a bad thing. You could also use the quilt clips. We're now going to take it to the sewing machine and we're going to stitch on all four sides. So we're going to stitch around all four sides of the bookmark. You want your stitch length to be at least 2.5 you may require it to be three, just depending on your sewing machine. You can use a walking foot. You could also use the utility foot that comes with your machine. Now, I like to sew off all four sides. And the reason for that is rather than pivoting and turning around a corner, is it will give me nice, clean edges. And I can also clip any bulk out of the, uh, out of the corners. So there's two sides, and then we'll just that up. And three sides. Now on your fourth side, you need to leave a small gap for turning. I've sewn around three sides completely. So on the fourth side, what you're going to do is leave a gap for turning. So get to a point, do a little reverse stitch. Raise the presser foot and cut your threads. Move it down. And then I like to do a couple of reverse stitches first and then sew off the edge. What we're then going to do is remove all of the pins and we're going to turn it through this gap. So once you've turned it through, just give it a press and remember you have the H640 in the reverse of the main part. So press it for eight to 10 seconds and then leave it for about 30 minutes. 
Now the gap that you had for turning, you can do one of two things. You could either slip stitch that gap closed, that would be perfectly fine. Or alternatively, you could top stitch. You'll find these are extremely addictive. It's a fabulous scrap buster. You'll never give a book again without adding one of these in. And quite simply, all you do is open it up and pop it onto the page. There you are, good to go. As you can see, Vlieseline has a wide range of products, each with different properties and benefits for your projects. You can view the whole range on the Vlieseline website, where you can download the brochure, which has detailed information on all of the products across our four categories.